Mortem Friends, it's Tracy and Loris and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. She's over there smelling the weeds. You're going to pump some iron, are you, Violet? Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, it's Tuesday morning. I'm about to go wake the kids up. I have not had a coffee yet, but I have to go into town to drop them off, and I'm going to bring Evie to Papa some help and Dad with something on his computer, and Mally has to swing by the community college to pick something up from her camp last week and all that sort of thing so i'm gonna go to tim hortons i am we're all gonna drive into town in the truck because it has seats for everybody and i'm gonna go to tim hortons yes so anyways i gotta go get the kids up so they can get themselves ready i finished packing their lunches though like i have sandwiches and stuff in the fridge I put those in their lunch kettles and put the ice packs in their lunch kettles and put the lunch kettles in the book bags along with the towel clean towel I need to get a, some swim trunks for Maze upstairs, just a pair of shorts. Amaziah has her stuff upstairs, but I did put a towel in her book bag, so <sighs> I think that's everything. I don't know. I'll be back. I swear to God, is everybody on their period or something? I have a truck full of kids, right up from Evie to Mally, and everybody has their nose out of joint. I said, I'm going into this gosh darn Dollarama to get Powerades. Don't anybody say anything to anybody. <sighs> oh, God, I don't understand. I don't understand us parents is trying to do something good. And everybody's just sourpuss. Sourpuss. My God. All right, the damn place isn't even open. They got water bottles. They're just not going to have Gatorades. So there, there it is. We dropped the kids off at camp. Violet, don't look my arm. Say hi, Evie. Hi. We're in the Tim Hortons drive-thru and they're still paving. We found just what, hat. We found your hat. Yes. They're oh, still paving this uh, parking lot and it stinks. Know. It's raining today, guys. Yes, it is a bit of a rainy day, but Mally's here with me. Violet's up front with us. Boris is out the back with him. Guys. I am going to get the biggest, fattest coffee there is. And then we're going to go over and see Papa. Are you excited? Yeah. Violet, are you excited? No. I know you're excited. No. You were excited as soon as I told you first thing this morning. That's what motivated you to get dressed. So, anyways, we're just waiting waiting for our time Violet in the lineup. No, she's not Violet loves Papa. Papa loves Violet. You do, don't you? <laughs> Papa. All right. <laughs> we're at Papa's house. Yeah, that's his new heat pump. I'm gonna go help him. I'm gonna have my coffee. Boris? What's that? Yes? Yeah, I better shut the window. Good eye, Marlene, good eye. <laughs> Come on, bozos. Who's that? He's been so excited since I told you this. Boris, for goodness. Boris thought you were talking to him. I get to ah, stop, stop. Oh it's okay, Izzy. It's okay. It's yeah, she can. We'll blow it off. Blow it, blow it off. Boris, for goodness oh, sakes. <laughs> He's just excited. You All right. Donut. He already had a Timbit. Pop it. Yeah. yeah, I thought I'd come in and help you. I know you're a busy guy, probably you're doing stuff, but I'll go take pictures of your stuff. Oh, don't do that. Don't give Papa a spanking. Hey. Stop. I'm gonna give Papa a great big hug. Great big hug. <laughs> Great big one, Evie. The biggest one ever. <laughs> wow. All right, get your sandals on. All right, guys, I'm out of the computer business. Um, we're just on our way home. I'm going to do a quick loop around here real quick. Evie is off the wall. Mally's like, can you please be quick? I said, I'll try, but it's been a stressful morning. Extremely stressful, so. Oh, what 
is that? Wings. Yeah, the wings aren't all that. Really not. All right. Sam, apples are still ridiculous. I feel like making banana bread, honestly, but I'll get bananas when they're 50% off again sometime. I missed my early, early morning shopping. Some tomatoes. Sure. 50% off. Why not? Oh, I meant to stop the Sobeys. I guess potatoes are on sale there this week. I think. Let's check this bakery hodgepodge. Oh. Oh. Nothing. To, lemon squares. Could make some sub buns out of that. What are kind of what are these? Extra soft. Might make some of those. I've got some sandwich meat, so. Oh, we'll see. I was hoping to pick something up for supper. I mean, I got lots of stuff in my freezer, but I never thought to take some out last night. So, see if I can find something here if I didn't miss all the deals already. Oh, they have that. It's still expensive. $7 for four friggin' corns on the cob. No. That's 50% off, but God's sakes. Looking a little skimpy. Oh. One T-pone steak. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. Oh, we do have frozen hamburgers home. Maybe we could do that. There. No. Cut up. That's pretty much that cut up. <coughs> I'm not a fan of the new 50% um, off stickers. They're not really all that. All right, we'll check these hodgepodges. Those oh, some. I know these are probably garbage, but I don't think these guys have had any. Maybe I'll get a bag of those just to switch it up once in a while. Yeah, I'd get this, but it has anchovy extract, so I can't. I can't do it. Let's check this one. <sighs> oh, cute little post-its. Me showing them like some small things. But still, three forty-four. You can get those cheap at the dollar store. Yeah. Those green shoes are 25 to 50 pounds. I don't know, maybe. Ooh, all right, guys, it's 11.02. We just got home a few minutes ago. I got Evie set up with the cartoon out there. He was half asleep on the way home, so he might fall asleep. But I'll show you what I got at Superstore. I didn't spend a lot of time in there, but I got some stuff. I got two things of hamburger buns, which is ridiculous. They were on sale for $3.49 a pack. If I had a... Well, I tried to go to the dollar store today and it wasn't open when I went. I would have got them there, but... Old meal, whatever. Hamburger buns. We're having that tonight for supper. Um, I got... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, um... Chunky soups, potato and bacon. They're all the same. Um, I'm sure we've had this before. I don't know, but it'll be for our pantry shelves. So it'll be good. It'll be fine, just for a quick meal or something. You can put that over rice if you wanted to. Whatever. It's fine. I got it, and it was 50% off. I think they were $1.90 each. I think. Chunky soup's expensive. Any soup's expensive these days. Um, I got three Lunchables for the kids' lunch this week. Um, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Uh, just as a treat for more for me that makes easier packing. But they haven't had one in a while. I've seen Dunkaroos. I haven't seen those in a long time. I thought for their lunches, um, got two of those. Mally said that they were discontinued for a while. I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I got those greenies. That stuff was a regular $19.99, so I paid 10 bucks for that little bag. And the bag and chew things. I know they're probably more junk food, but the, the dogs don't get a lot of junk food, to be honest. They really don't, and I just thought... 
marked down. We'll see. We'll try it. Boris will eat anything, so whatever. Um, I got these two little smelly candles. Um, don't pipe candles. They're berry scented smelling and they smell really summery. And I wanted them, so I got them. Two for the price of one. I got these buns. I'm going to make some sub, well, I'll show you. I got some chicken sandwich meat and roast beef. I'll use those for that. Um, and I got, those were 50% off. These tomatoes were in the 50% off vegetable hodgepodge. But they didn't have a sticker on it. But I brought them up when I was paying. Um, they said somebody might have just put it there. But they gave it to me for 50% off anyways. Because it wasn't my doing. I was just there. So, uh, th three Roma. Is that Roma? I don't know. Tomatoes. For subs. Along with some lettuce. Five dollars for a bag of lettuce, but I got for two fifty lettuce, tomato, sub buns, and sandwich meat with mayonnaise and mustard. That's good. Make some subs. Um, a gal of friggin' apples, eight ninety nine. Absolutely heinous, heinous, heinous. But they love them. I got two curly fries. We'll have that with the hamburgers tonight. Um, yeah, those were two for six fifty, maybe. I don't know. But I'm just going to do those in the oven. Or I suppose maybe the air fryer. I don't know. But So not a whole bunch of stuff. But we got some stuff. So ah, feeling good. Oh, and I just noticed these. I got two Clubhouse Spicy Chili Seasoning Mix. I usually get Old El Paso. Um, these are probably fine. That's wet. Um, I don't know. 50% off just to try. All right, guys, it's 12.30. I'm sitting in the kitchen with my husband. We're just chit-chatting, having a really good time. We're going to go out and barbecue soon before it rains, but we're listening to AHA's Take On Me, like the acoustic live from MTV unplugged version. It's a good one. It's a good one. We're just listening to music, chit-chatting. Evie's running around. But we're going to go out and barbecue some sausages and those hamburgers for supper soon. Um, so they'll be done and over with. And... Take on me, take me on. Oh, I'm a professional singer. All right, we're listening to Frankie Goes to Hollywood. My husband just went out with that package of sausage. Here's the thing with 18 hamburgers. I don't know if we'll do all 18, but... We've got these before and they were pretty good. So he's going to just do them all at the same time before it starts raining. I'm going to bring the pups out, see if Evie wants to come out. And yeah, just take advantage while we can. All right, guys. Ooh, look at this. We're out here listening to music. I'm about to take the burgers off the grill. The sausages maybe need a little more. But the dogs are out and Evie's out and we're just relaxing. All right, there's all the sausages and all the hamburgers. All right, guys, it has been a whirlwind of an afternoon. It's quarter after five. I just got back and getting the kids. The original plan was for Marquis, but he ended up stepping on a nail at work today, and he had to go to O-Patients to get a tetanus. But there's a huge line lineup there, so he's going to be there a while. So I found this out at the last minute, and, like, it just happened, you know. But I went in and got the kids. I dropped off a sandwich and some snacks for him at the hospital and a bottle of water to carry meat up for him and his phone charger so we just got back I didn't get a chance to make those curly fries okay you guys simmer down anyways um I might do those tomorrow the kids want their want hamburgers just hamburgers and they can have that and an apple or something that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just going to heat up some burgers now and give them to them so they stop harping about it. Okay, well, instead of curly fries, we got a side of cheesies. This is Messiah's two cheeseburgers. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next morning. Um, I've already gone for a walk with the pups. And when we were going out, there was a lady walking and uh, so we didn't end up going too far 
But business was taken care of. I came back, I made coffee, fed the pups. Maze is up and Mally's up. And I'm not used to people being up when I first get up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God. It's almost 7 o'clock. Boris is out there. Violet is right here. She feels my pain. But I am having a coffee, and then I'll go wake up uh, Misha. Maze. I'm going to try to leave Evie sleeping. Um, because Mally will be here alert. My husband will still be here, but that way I don't have to pack him up and bring him into town. Because I plan on just going into town and coming back out. So I'm going to have my coffee, and I'm just going to do a squisher these two days together. And I'll be back. All right, guys. Oh, I've got a hair in my mouth. Um, it's been a busy morning. I brought the kids into camp. We left early enough so I could stop at a superstore before I dropped them off because I wanted to get Powerades or Gatorades. It was Powerade because it was on sale. Well, they were both on sale, actually. Um, so I got them that and I got a few deals. So I did a real quick loop because I don't want to leave them out in the car with the two. I have Boris is there, Violet's beside me. And dropped them off. I left Ebby home just because it would have been super squished in here and I didn't want to have to take the truck again. And Mally was up, so I got him breakfast and she was just going to sit downstairs with him while he watched the boob tube and played. And I'm just going to get my husband a coffee and I got, told him Mally I'd get her a ice cap for watching him. And then we're going to go home, but yeah, this line is not acceptable. I should have went to the Little Tim Hortons. That was a long line too, but this is a longer one. It's moving kind of along, but it's like, oh my God, ridiculous. And when I came here earlier to Superstore over there, I didn't want to go then. The line was shorter, but I was like, these guys, I had already had breakfast. And if I went here, I'd end up spending $15 that I don't need to spend because it would just be because we're at the Tim Hortons and they'd want something. And I don't mind buying my kids treats, but they already had breakfast and there's treats and stuff in their lunch and they just don't need to have a morning started off with garbage. So, <sighs> anyways, yeah, I'll be back in a bit. Um, at least I have air con, air con in the car, which is nice. All right, friends, it's five after nine. I just got home. I'll show you what I got at the superstore. There's Boris there. I got a whole bunch of bananas. I felt like making banana bread yesterday, so I might try to make that today. 50% um, off, of course. All three bags, so they're good and ripe and stuff. Um, I got some donuts for dessert tonight, 50% off. I got two bags of brown sugar. I forget what those were. Four bags of white sugar. Those were two for $5, I think. Got a jug of milk. Got these little containers, sandwich containers some eggs, some chocolate chips, and I got a thing of margarine because it's cheaper than butter and butter's ridiculously expensive. And that's what I got Mally for babysitting while I was in town. I didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. I was kind of in a rush, but yeah. So now I'm gonna put this stuff away and maybe look for a banana bread recipe. All right, I got a recipe from the Food Network. I wrote it down and I have enough bananas to make 11 loaves. So here's 24 eggs. I'm gonna crack them and put them in this container. All right, there's 24 eggs. Um, yeah, I wrote down for one loaf, it's one cup of sugar, eight tablespoons, which is a half a cup of butter, two eggs, three bananas, a tablespoon of milk, a uh, te teaspoon of cinnamon, two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt. Cream the butter and sugar together, then add the eggs. Mash the bananas, then add the milk and cinnamon, and then they want to use three separate bowls. I don't know if I'll do all that. Flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and then add all together. Bake at 325 for an hour, hour and 10 minutes. That'll probably take longer because I'm doing multiple loaves. Um, yeah, I, d I can't remember the recipes I've used before, but I've made ones like with buttermilk and brown sugar and white sugar and I don't know. I'm just going to try this one. It was simple, straightforward Food Network one. So 
we're going to try it and see. But banana bread is an excellent bread that you can freeze. Wrap it up good with saran or plastic wrap, foil, and saran again. Put it in a freezer bag and it lasts for months, in my experience anyways. But I'm going to get the butter out and set it in a dish to let it kind of come to room temperature a bit. I don't know how much sugar, how many cups are in a bag, I forget, so I'll put it in a big measuring cup, four cup measuring cup to see, um, but I'll need uh, 11 cups of sugar. So there, and I need to decase all of these stinking bananas. Evie, I did have 35, Evie took one, and that's fine. And I need to get out the baking powder, baking soda, and salt, and all the bowls and stuff so and my bread pans i want to get those out too uh i might have to give them a quick wash or rinse anyways they're under my stove like in that drawer so yeah all right let's keep moving all right friends i'll have you up high so we can chat while i do this i'm going to use harriet here because she needs to be washed anyways as the compost i'm going to throw the bananas in this giant bowl like jay morell has don't get a chance to use this very often. Um, I keep it down in the basement. I just gave it a wash. So, yeah. I don't know. I felt I had a hankering to do this the past couple days. And I'm going to... Oh, for God's sakes. I'm going to have to wash these. I rinsed that out first. But I had the wrong thing. I rinsed that out. Um, Karen Marquise had made a soup last night. So it was just like liquid stuff. Had a little bit of rice in it. And then this goes in here, Tracy. Oh. My husband's here. He's working upstairs today. I did it again for the sakes, what's wrong with me? I'll wash that one off too. It seems to come over closer to me, so I know what the heck I'm doing. <sighs> I hope this one turns out good. It should. I have the butter just sitting on the table. If I have to, I'll warm it up a little bit in the microwave, not so that it melts, but it gets softer. Just take it over the packages and cut it up in cubes and just put it in for, I don't know, 20 seconds at a time to see. I'm supposed to cream the, I think it was the sugar and the butter together. And I have the sugar measured out in a big bowl, like one of my usual big bowls. Forest and Violet, smarten up. Um, so we'll see if it fits all in there to cream up. I don't know. We'll see. You guys. Stop making so much racket out there. Dad's upstairs working. I'll make you stay out here in the kitchen with me. Oh. Hey! I don't mind the grunting and groaning, but I just don't want them to start barking because once they start, they do it incessantly and it's just too much. If we're outside, that's fine, but. these out as soon as I'm done doing this because I don't want fruit flies in the house. Bananas are like an aphrodisiac for fruit flies. <clears throat> and I'll get the dishwasher going. I'll preheat the oven here in a little bit. 25, you know, it's so it's baking kind of low, but I'll probably have at least four. Well, it depends if I double rack it, like top, bottom, bottom, top. So 
I'm gonna see how many I can actually fit in my oven at one time and I'll just do it until I poke a stick in it or a toothpick in it. If it comes out clean, it's done. I'm hoping to have these all done. Well, it's 9.59 now. At least all in pans by lunchtime and finish baking, hopefully before, well, I don't have to go get the kids. Uh, Marquises, so that's that's a big that's a big deal. Because usually I have to, you know, time myself. And yeah, we'll do this. And bre um, banana bread's good for a dessert or a breakfast or just a snack. And I bring a loaf of I don't know, maybe once once or twice a month and it gets gobbled up like nobody's business honestly because when you've got a house full of people one loaf of banana bread you know they each have a slice or two that takes up the whole thing but no i'm glad i walked in there and they still had more there but i'm just like i don't know how much i can actually make i'm gonna have to take stuff out of my freezer i really want to do uh freezer meal marathon you know how I do like for my family I like to do it for other people too you know like the seniors meal but I got stuff in there that needs to be used up and cooked and I could it would just help me out this fall um, have meals for the ready for this fall and I could use a freezer meal once or twice a week so I'll see when I go put these in the freezer what I can do this one's real right real right. But, yeah, I had, I know there's so many different kind of loaves you can make. Cinnamon loaf and berry and I don't know, a whole bunch, but this, I just know my family likes it, so that's what I stick with. My compost is gonna like this, that's for sure. All the little wiggly worms out there. There, that's the last one. I'm gonna rinse that um, banana and put it in, take this out, and then we're gonna start mixing, mixing stuff. So I'll be right back. wipe the table off where except for under the bowls. Now I'm going to try to do the flour. I need 24 cups of flour. So I have another big bag of flour over there. You guys have probably seen it a million times sitting on my bench. Here's some flour in this one then I'm going to have to open that one. I'm trying to use up my flour before it goes rancid or whatever. 
not lose count. Two, this is a two cup measuring thing. Four. Ooh, I don't know if this is gonna fit. Six. Fans blowing. Fourteen. Sixteen. Okay. I'm gonna do the rest of this. I just need to remember the number sixteen because I'll have to add the rest of it after I get it all in the bowl because I just don't have enough room in here and I still need to work. So it calls for eleven teaspoons since I'm doing eleven loaves of baking powder. baking powder. I need 11 things of baking soda. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stuff away, but I need 11 teaspoons of salt. Well, I'm going to use pink Himalayan salt. So I've got a big cup of it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I'll mix this together. Then we can add it all together. I just need to, once I get it in the bowl, then I can get the other cups of flour out and just add it directly to it. That's my plan anyways. So I'll just carefully mix this. It doesn't say to sift it in, and I wouldn't feel like doing that anyways. Get that all mixed around. All right, I want to get some pictures and I'll be right back. Oh, and just so you can get a better look at it, this is that butter, sugar, and milk, or no, not milk, butter, sugar, and eggs. That's the bananas, milk, and cinnamon. 
there's the flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And it just needs a little more flour. So now I'm going to set you guys up. We're going to add it all to Big Bertha here. And um, then I'll open that other thing of flour and add that. Bring her over. And, ooh. Ugh, that's ooh, it looks like throw up. Yeah, I need another eight cups of flour. I'll add it bit by bit. And I don't want to over stir it, I just want to do it until you don't see the flour. I mean, it didn't say that, but that's what, I, in my experience, any other recipe, that's what it says. I'll fast paste this, but just know I'm going to be trying to incorporate all of this stuff. Alright guys, I just go to all my pans. Um, I have uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, and then I got this so so like 10, 11. And yeah, I'm gonna spray them with some cooking spray, and then we're gonna load them up. So yeah, Evie's in here keeping me company, along with Violet and Boris. But yeah, we're we're nearing the end. Okay, I got a bunch of this Pam uh, baking spray, 50% uh, off, so I have a little stockpile in my laundry room. But I'm just going to do this up. Some loaves will be bigger than others, so I might not end up with 11. It's hard to say. I tried to mix this, so, but there'll be a few little flour. Uh, balls, but that's all right. My arm's tired. Oh, great. Got it right on the handle. There's one. fast paste this too because this is going to take a while. This is really sticky and thick.
um, filled. I'm going to do these, but those chocolate chips I got today, it looks like there's a lot left in here, but it's just spread out. I'm going to add chocolate chips to it and make chocolate chip banana muffins. Don't usually think of banana bread with chocolate chips, but my kids like that. You'll have to wait a minute, Eddie. I just washed my hands, too. Here's a few. There, skedaddle. I'm not going to put this whole thing in, just a few. And then when they're in the pan, I will put some on top. Yeah, don't let the dogs get that, Eddie. Yeah, I'll just chocolate makes them sick. Might yeah. be a little more in here. I'll just have them. I'll just want. I just wanted these two butt and heel. Oh yeah. Because I because they don't look like they have these. Hey, I have to tell something. What? Do those Watch have out for these? That stool. Those guys are sitting right there. You're gonna knock them over. Our silver tea kettle. Yeah, there's not too many chocolate chips in here, but I'll put some on top. But it's the chocolate chips in here. No. So can I put some in No, here? you cannot. Those what? are for you to eat. If you don't want them, put them on the counter. Okie doke. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have a big, I don't use this for my potatoes. It's like a, I don't know, it's bigger than my potato. One. It's for ice cream. It could be for ice cream, yes. If you scream ice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Yeah. And I'm hoping this works. Uh oh. Oh, I don't think it needs a whole scoop. Maybe my actual potato scoop would be better. wound up today. Who is? You are. Oh? You're kind of wound up. Am I wound up? Well, we can be wound up together then. Yeah, I might need another uh, no. cupcake tin. No, you don't. I don't? Yes. Yeah, How do you know? Well, what if it's full? What's full? A cupcake tin. Are you talking about that? Yes. Think of them apples, huh? Those apples. No, oh, let me wash my hands again. I have to wash my hands. You go wash them in the bathroom. But I throw them No. I'm just gonna pour some of those chocolate chips on a little plate so I don't have to keep reaching into that bag. Evie, just wait till Grampy comes out. He was in the back. Okay. Okay. I think I have a couple of little six cupcake tray tins. I might need just one. Oh, 
All right, that looks pretty nice. All right, I can't find them, and I can't be bothered to look, but I found another one of these. It's a freaking fly in my kitchen now. Better. It knows what's good for it. I'm just going to put that right over here. And fly in my kitchen. Somebody's baby. Have this is going to be a thin one, I think. Oh, Bertha. So we'll have a chocolate chip cake pan loaf. <laughs> ah! Abby, you need to simmer down. Oh god, that's heavy. That's heavy. That's that big bowl. I, I was gonna say that big old bowl. show you what it all looks like together all right look at that look at that so I have about 11 loaves if you're including those cupcakes and stuff and I just I tried to scrape it tried to scrape it it's just it's really sticky but yeah excellent excellent so I'm gonna get as many in the oven as I can and we'll start baking these bad boys whatever's left Evie shush I'm going to cover up because I don't see the fly now, but I don't want anything landing on my food. All right, I've got everything in except for these two things. Um, I set the timer for 45 minutes and then I'm going to rotate the bottom to the top, top to the bottom. It's just there's so much in there, it's going to take longer to cook. And then after, I'll put these in. Ooh. All right, guys, it's 12.30. I rotated those pans from the bottom to the top, top to the bottom. I had a shower. I washed Big Bertha and the other big bowls. I can wash them so I can put them away. And now I'm just taking the pups out to see if they have to pee. It's actually really warm outside. I'm glad I did that this morning and not this afternoon. So... Yeah, let's go in the shade. But, yeah, I'll just bring them out for a minute. And I think there's 18 minutes left. I put them in for 45 minutes at first. And then rotated them, put them in for 50 minutes. And we'll see what they look like then. And if they have to go longer, they have to go longer. But, yeah, I'm just winging it. All right, I just took these out of the oven. I put the other two in the oven, like the chocolate chip ones. But, um, yeah, they totally look done. They rose quite a bit, and they slid at the top a little bit. I'm going to cover them with a clean tea towel and just let them cool off. I'm going to leave them right in the pans till they're all done. And they should slide right out. So, oh, the kitchen. <laughs> Those guys. 
sam uh, smells really good. Evie wants a piece so bad, so I'll probably end up cutting one of these loaves here in a bit, but the rest I'm gonna let sit in the pans. All right, friends, Evie and me, Violet and Boris all went upstairs and had a nap. Now it's about quarter after four, 20 after four. Um, he's still up there sleeping. The pups came down, I brought them out, and now we're in. I just turned the oven on at 425, waiting for it to come up to snuff, but I'm going to get the curly fries in I meant to do yesterday and hope to heck that Marquise remembers to pick up the kids. I can't remember if I reminded him this morning or not. I tried to call, but it goes right to voicemail, dang it. So anyways, I'm just waiting for it to come up. I'm doing two pans, two bags, and yeah, uh, leftover burgers and sausages to go along with this. And we have some coleslaw and macaroni salad, too. So, easy peasy. Oh, what an afternoon. Um, this is what supper is, the macaroni and cheese salad, curly fries, and hamburger. I'll tell you about it in a minute. All right, guys, we're into Maze's soccer. And I only have one chair, so she's sitting on my lap. But I had to go into town to get the kids because I forgot to remind Marquise to pick up the kids from day camp. And I tried everything to get a hold of them, but his phone must have been dead. So I called the recreation center, and they, it was like quarter to five, and five is the cutoff time. And they still hadn't been picked up, so I jumped in the car. I left the dogs and everybody home. Kara and Marquise, Mally were there, so ran in and got them. Didn't get back out to almost 20 after 5. Shoved some, shoved some supper in their face. And now we're here again. We're in town again. So Misha has a game. She has to be over there for 6.30. So I'll leave here, drive her over, come back and finish watching Maze. And then Maze and I will go over and watch Misha's soccer game. What a whirlwind. Whirlwind. This deserves an ice cream, do you think, Misha? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big fat one. Alright guys, I left Mesa Soccer, went down to get gas because I was hard on E. Finally got them some Gatorades because I just filled up water bottles when we left and I didn't have a chance to stop to the store. Now I dropped Misha over to her soccer game like half hour early because they want to warm up. And now I'm going back to Mays and then we'll come back over to Misha's. Are you picking up when I'm laying down? Alright, I'm back. I was sitting over there in the shade, but it wasn't close to where Maze was playing. They're playing like little skirmishes or whatever they're called. And I couldn't find his jersey, so he has a long black tank top on. But, <laughs> oh, it's just been a crazy, crazy afternoon. But I got them here on time, in the nick of time. Oh, Maze is playing goalie this time, I think. See how he makes out. Right, Maze is in the game now. Woo! Oh. All right, it's all done. They just did a cool down. Now they do the little cheer, and that's it. There they go. Now let's over, go over to Misha's game. All right, we made it to Misha's game. I should sit right into the competitor's parents' row and scream. That's what I like to do, but uh, I don't know. 
It doesn't look like it started yet. It's probably just about to start. Oh no, it did start. But Mage, you're gonna have to sit on my lap or sit on the grass. Lap. Lap. All right. Oh, there's people all the way to the end. Sheesh. Well, we can just be right here on this end. Huh? We'll just be right here. All right, it was half time now. They switched sides. Let's go, Misha! Let's go, Bri Maze is over. Out back, playing with some of his friends that were from soccer. Mm -mm. All right, it's all over if they didn't win, but everybody played really well. All right, guys, it's 9.01, got home a little while ago. I just wrapped these up, a double layer of saran, and then I put foil over top of it. Then I put it in a big Ziploc bag, and it lasts for months, it really does. Um, somebody got into that, so I'll leave that out, and there's four cupcake muffin things left. I'll leave those out, but all of this will go in my freezer. Four months down the road. Exciting. Well, good morning, guys. It's the next morning. Get up here, Violet. Uh, Boris is out there. We got up, I don't know, about quarter after six, went for a walk, came back. I unloaded the dishwasher, loaded it back up. I'm just going to drink my coffee so I can put my cup in there. And uh, I'm holding on giving the breakfast. Violet had a little bit, but... Uh, Boris threw up outside so I don't want to give him food right away because he'll gobble it down and probably throw it right back up so I'll wait a little while dogs do that they do that if I was really concerned you know I'd get him looked at but I'll just see how he goes this morning and stuff I mean he's playful and everything he'd probably just had a sour stomach but I have my coffee here I'm gonna end this video um, so I can start a new one but I feel really good about that um, banana bread and it makes me want to bake again today but I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my freezers because they're full of stuff so um, I wrapped up that bread in like plastic wrap and then foil I need to uh, put them in a big freezer bag and make room in my freezer for them I think the one down in the basement has room because that's what I took that big turkey out of the other day when I had Christmas for supper or Christmas in July you know what I mean? <clears throat> and then I can clear that table off. But yeah, it was fun to get back into baking. And I really feel like baking bread and stuff. But yeah, anyways. I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love ya. I still want all that happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. Boris, what are you doing? Oh, he's chewing on a shin pad. He's a soccer shin pad. You're not doing that. Oh, jeepers, boy. Okay. <laughs> All right, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I will. See you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.